What's up everyone? Welcome back to 2GOZ Garage. If you guys are new to the channel, I am 2GOZ. This is my 1994 Toyota pickup. You guys probably have seen this thing all over Instagram. It's got a fully built 22RE and it is boosted, but the turbo is gone right now. As you can see, there is nothing there. I had issues with my turbo overheating and it's not getting the proper cooling, which is the reason why today we will be installing an oil cooler. So inside this box, if I pull everything out for you guys, you can see, I got some nice stainless steel braided hoses. Got two of them, one for the return, one for the feed. And here is a fitting to keep the two hoses together in the line. Obviously we get instructions in the box because we do get a sandwich plate. And we have here a sandwich plate. Here's the fitting for the oil filter. And last but not least, we have our actual cooler. This is a 10 row. I bought this kit online. I will put the link to it in the description. The instructions show us how to install the sandwich plate, which is pretty straightforward, not too hard at all. In this kit was included some nice braided black hoses with some nice black and red AN fittings. Here you are, you can see there's the fittings, how they're gonna look, it's a 90 degree. This is something that I should have done a very long time ago. My truck has been needing this thing badly. When you turbocharge an engine, you always want to install an oil cooler, but just something I never thought about and I should have done a long time ago. Where I was planning to mount it was somewhere here behind the grill. That way it can get all the air that it can get. I have plenty of room, as you can see, down in there. So before anything, I need to take off this grill. I already got this side pulled off pretty good. Now I just got to move on to this side. There you go. There's the front grill. I gotta spend time and see exactly where I'm gonna be able to mount this thing. It's gonna be a little tight, but once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. All right, so I have been trying to figure this out for quite a while. I tried finding places on the bottom to put it, places on the top. I was having issues with um, clearance. This thing is just too wide. As you can see, I had to bend this side bracket up that way I can fit it in there and I had to cut two slots on this bracket holding in the hood latch. That way it can slide in place in there you can see. And it's solid. I think it's not going anywhere. Um, I tried the grill and the grill is hitting this little plastic clip here as you can see. I started cutting it off but I was like let me show them real quick before I take it off fully. And I'm going to cut this off and hopefully the grill should fit on. So it is hitting the cooler. You can see right there, there's the cooler right there. So it's gonna get all the air that it needs to get. I'm not gonna cut the grill, I don't wanna do that. Um, you can see right here, it's hitting right there. I think that's a pretty good spot. That's exactly where I wanted to put it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And go follow his Instagram, 2 doz And I think that's all, right? Do you have TikTok? Mm, yeah. So the go for his TikTok at 2 z too. All right, so update, it is already dark. It gets dark way too fast here in Florida. Every time I'm filming a video in the middle of it, it always gets dark and I have to film We're using my lights and stuff. That gets very inconvenient sometimes, but little quick update. I took out the battery, that way it's easier access to get to the oil filter, which is down there. You can see my nice k n one. I will be replacing it and putting a fresh oil filter. And now that I'm doing this oil cooler, I'm gonna be doing an oil change as well. That way everything has all fresh fluid and we're good on that. Um, sandwich plate comes with these bolts on the side. Um, that way you can put some sensors or whatever you want. I need to get some Teflons on those bolts. That way they seal nice and properly and also on these AN ones as well. All right, so as you can see, you look in there, I got my nice Teflon in there and I didn't need to put Teflon on these AN10 fittings for the oil cooler because they have O-rings. So we should be good on that. So now we just got to pull out the oil filter and then we should be able to slide this in place. Bam! Taking off the oil filter, you can see the oil nasty dirty, but here it is. They give you two different size fittings um, so you can see which one works for your application. All right, so whichever one is for your application, what I was saying is the O-ring side of the sandwich plate, you can see this side doesn't have an O-ring, it's flat. So the O-ring side is going to go against the block. Inside of here is going to go this, which threads on to your, where your oil filter threads onto in the block now. So that threads onto there, and then your oil filter will then thread onto here. So you're basically just 
basically sandwiching this in the middle of it. That's pretty much how it works. It's pretty simple. So the one that is going to be for the 22RE, my Toyota pickup, is going to be the three quarters fitting. So again, this is going to go against the block. This will slide in and then we should be able to thread it on. And then we can angle this whichever way we want to match where we're going to put our lines. You can see exactly how I have it mounted. Perfect spot, perfect angle, going a little bit slightly up. Before I tighten that down fully, I'm going to go ahead and run my lines going to the oil cooler. That way I know exactly what angle I'm going to have the sandwich plate and then I'll tighten it down. So I'm going to go ahead and get my hoses, which is over here, and we'll go ahead and run them. Hopefully they're long enough. They should be. So I had issues with one of the lines being too long. They're both the same exact size. Um, I already got them going to the sandwich plate, but I'm going to have to cut this one back to about here, about one foot back and we should be good with the hoses. So before you cut this, you wanna get some black electrical tape or some sort of strong tape to hold the braided line in place because when you cut this, you don't want all that to go everywhere because then it's gonna be hard to slide the AN fitting on. So I got this thing marked pretty much where I'm gonna need it, right about there. So I, all, you, all you need to cut this is a hacksaw, a nice fine blade, and it should cut right through that. go. I ended up taking the holes out again and I just got the air compressor and blew all that little particles of rubber. So now we're ready to install the AN fitting. As you can see the sandwich plate got the two lines and everything on. I tightened down all the fittings. Now I still need to tighten down where the oil filter goes into. All I have to do is put this fitting on but before I put this fitting on I am going to go ahead and fill up the oil cooler with oil because before you turn on your vehicle you want to make sure there's oil inside of there because you're going to lose oil pressure due to the pump trying to get oil through the oil cooler. So, if it's sealing. I basically have to get the oil out of the five gallon drum that I have, five gallon bucket, and then put it in this one little bottle. But I got to get a bigger funnel. This is going to take forever. All right, as you can see, the oil is all the way up. And if you guys remember, this thing is a little bit in an angle. And this is the lower side, this is the upper side. I let it sit for quite a while, all the air got out. So now I'm ready to put this line in. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this fitting and try to make these lines look clean, put the grill on, and we'll see how our finishing product looks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished product. As you can see, I got my hoses nice and tightened up. Everything looking super clean. And if I bring you guys along to the bay, you will see the beautiful work on how I routed my lines. You can see they go right there, straight to that sandwich plate down in the bottom. I use that bracket to hold the two hoses together right in the middle, and they follow each other perfectly all the way down to the bottom. It does add a little bit more stuff to the bay, um, but it just looks nice. That was my main goal for this kit. I was hoping to make everything look as nice and clean as possible. I didn't want too much hose running through the bay. Um, you don't really notice it much. You have to actually look for it. The only thing that I was not satisfied with, which is my fault, is I scratched up the AN fittings a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the front grill on right now and just see how it looks. You are gonna see this a little bit. I do think so. Um, I'm just hoping this is not in the way of the grill. Um, we're about to find out. You can see it looks great, looks amazing. It's gonna get all the air that it needs to get to cool my oil down. And this should be a very good upgrade to Tina. All right, so as you can see, I got the front grill on along with the turn signals. This you guys probably never noticed before, but my fitment on this thing used to be trash. And now on both sides, it looks very nice and sharp. I did end up putting the grill on nice and steady. I use zip ties to hold it in place because my stock clips are worn out. So yeah, this thing is solid. Thing is nice and mounted in there. The next step would be to prime all of the lines, but I will not be doing that because the turbo is currently off of the truck. I don't want turbo to go everywhere and I need to get my new filter as well and also change my oil. If you guys enjoyed watching today's video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay updated with all the cool stuff I got coming for this thing. Like I said, I am changing the turbo setup on this thing, going T4 instead of T3, and I'm up in the size to get some more boost in that thing. So, uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.